Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. Well, welcome to Getting to Know You. My name is Joe Nash. Today we're going to be hearing from two different groups, um, the Tenbrook Mansion and the Albany Aqueducts. We have with us Wendy Birch. She's the Executive Director of the Albany County Historical Association, who runs the Tenbrook Mansion, and Bob Wolfgang. He's the CEO, I guess, of the Albany Aqueducts. So we're going to be talking to them about Christmas festivities and upcoming events. So welcome. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Wendy, why don't we start with you? on the Tenbrook Mansion, a lot we all know about. It's down in Albany. Before we talk about this whole month schedule of, of Christmas festivities, why don't you give us a little brief little history of the Tenbrook Mansion, what sort of goes on down there. And I know it's been around, what, since the 1790s or something? Yep, 1798, <laughs> that's right. Um, actually, um, the Tenbrook Mansion is the home of the Albany County Historical Association. Okay. Um, and as you said, it's been around since 1798. It was built by Abraham Tenbrook, who was a general during the Revolutionary War. He was the mayor of Albany, um, one of, uh, ran one of the first banks in Albany. So he was a very prominent citizen during his time. Um, it was also owned by the Alcott family, who were also major players in Albany in the mid to um, late 1800s. Um, they had a lot to do with uh, the founding of the Dudley Observatory, um, and they were also bankers, president of the mechanics. The Dudley Observatory in Schenectady, is that what it is? It is in Schenectady okay. now, but it was originally in Albany it was? to begin okay. with, yes. I did not yep. know that. Yep. Um, so uh, that's our headquarters. Um, we run it as a historic house museum. Mm -hmm. um, and we do a lot of other things, too. We have an archaeology camp for children in the summer, um, mm -hmm. where we're able to offer several scholarships for lower income students. We also have a lecture series. We do about nine to 12 lectures a year, which are free to the public. Um, and we also have a-, a On local, are these on local history events? Usually, but um, they vary. <laughs> and um, we also have uh, exhibits. We usually do three to four exhibits a year as well. Okay. Um, and I see you have um, probably pretty popular garden tours. And we do, we do um, uh, garden talks and teas, which kind of incorporate our lectures with the um, okay. refreshments afterwards. All so. Right, so these things these things go on during the whole, during yes. the year all the time. So mm -hmm. however, this month, now we're filming this on November 30th, so all these events are starting on December 4th, but this show's gonna be on the whole month. So if you're watching this, you're gonna get the dates. Some of these may have already happened, some haven't have happened, so you can, so, so people will still have time, so. This is called, we got a theme here, it's called um, Albany Holidays, 400 Years. Now, how did you come up with this theme? We or? do a theme every year, and uh, this particular year, because we're celebrating the quadricentennial. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's uh, right, it's the 400th. Yep. Yep. We decided to go with, um, you know, basically celebrating the 400 years of Albany history since okay. Henry Hudson first discovered the area. All right, so we're starting here with, um, on Friday, December 4th, a holiday tea. Uh, most of the, a lot of these um, events are free. Some, some there's a charge. I mean, I can say what, what these are, but the first one's gonna be December 4th. It's a Friday from two to four. It's a holiday tea. So tell us about this, you know, what this is all about. Sure, this is something we've been doing for several years. Um, it's basically a high tea. Uh, you come, it's, it's a nominal fee, um, and um, you're served tea and, and tea sandwiches and baked goods, and um, you're able to sit in the atmosphere of the decorated mansion and enjoy the tea, and then go and shop in our holiday shop and take a look at all the okay. decorations in the mansion. Now, w as we're talking here, we, we have some pictures from last year's, we're gonna, we'll show some pictures of the rooms, this is the tea. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have this tea, is there a, can you take a tour or you just, you're just in the big? Um, well, certainly there's staff there okay, and okay. volunteers that can certainly um, provide the history of the mansion for anyone who's interested, but okay. mainly it's just you just stroll through on your own. Now, for any of these events, if you need reservations, <coughs> we, we can just call the mansion or go to the website. That's or, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll put the website on the screen. Or if you just go to Google and type in Tenbrook Mansion because it's a, it's a very long <laughs> website. Um, and that holiday tea is $15. Um, now, the next event is free. It's going to be on Saturday, December 5th. It's a lecture called Joyful Traditions, How the Dutch Brought Us Santa. 
presents and treats, and this is also going to have an appearance, I think the first of many of Sinterklaas will be at a lot of these events. So what's this all about? I know that from Peter Hess was here last time with you, the book, there's a lot of Christmas, um, the Dutch, a lot of traditions are incorporated into American traditions now. So what's, what is this? Yeah. Oh, well, we were uh, lucky enough to get Peter Rose, who is um, a very well-known author, mostly of um, uh, Dutch traditions, Dutch cooking, that kind of thing, and she's going to come and speak. Um, and as you said, it's free to the public, and uh, afterwards we'll have some uh, traditional uh, Dutch um, fair. Um, okay. <laughs> well, she's going to talk about all these traditions that w are incorporated into American traditions. Yeah, America. I mean, uh, St. Nicholas Day is December 6th, which is the day after okay. this lecture, and somehow that, you know, St. Nicholas was incorporated into Christmas, and I think she's going to talk a little bit about how that happened. And then is Santa Claus, is that That's to do the with? Uh, traditional uh, Dutch Santa Claus. Oh, okay. Yes, so he will be there. All right, now the next event is going to be Sunday, December 6th. Now this looks like a big event. It's um, all day, 10 to 2. It's an open house. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us um, what goes on here. It looks like you can do a lot, and this day you can go outside. Hopefully the weather will be nice, but tell us about yeah, the open house. Yeah, it's just, uh, you, you know, you come, you get to see the mansion decorated. You get to shop in our holiday shop. We have a lot of handmade mm -hmm. things in the holiday shop, and there are crafts for children as well. Um, and Santa Claus again will be there to, to people, greet everybody. Can people sort of walk around on their own during this? Yes, okay, mm -hmm. so we usually have no. people in rooms talking about um, the different. Uh, okay, the different I know, the, the, and people will be able to see the rooms as we're ta as we're speaking. Um, and that is five dollars for an adult, one dollar for children, and then you can get a family rate for what for ten dollars. <laughs> it says here, okay. And then on Wednesday, December sixteenth, you know, um, at one p.m., you're having a lecture called. The Joys and Wonders of Hanukkah, the Jewish Festival of Lights. Um, so what is this all about? I well, we have a lecturer, um, Richard Feldman, is going to come in and talk a little bit about Hanukkah and the Hanukkah traditions here in Albany. I mean, these are specific to Albany, some of the, what he's going to That's okay, the, the that's goal, I, yes. Okay. Um, and then on Saturday, oh wait, that one is, the lecture on Hanukkah is free. On Saturday, December 19th at 10.30 to noon, we have um, a children's story hour, which is free. Um, now, who, what, what, do you know what this is going to be? And Santa Claus will be there again. <laughs> yes, um, in fact, Santa Claus will be reading the stories. Okay. And, um, and since it's for children, we recommend children ages three to ten. Three you to know, 10. They're, they're not going to sit there, you know, for a couple hours and just listen to stories. So we have games and um, cookies and milk, and we try and have it over in time for you know the kids to go okay. home and take a nap if they need to do okay. that. Okay, so it's ages three to ten, and that's free. Mm -hmm. Now here's one um, on Saturday, December 19th of the same day from 3 to 5, holiday madrigals, coffee and dessert. Um, now, I don't know what kind of music that is. What, what is that? Uh, madrigals are um, traditional songs dating back to almost the Middle Ages. Um, it's something that, you know, during Henry VIII's oh, yeah. time, that's, they did a lot of that. And this is, I think, the third year we're doing this, and it's really growing, you know, getting a following. Um, people really enjoy it. They, you know, they sing these traditional holiday songs mm -hmm. in this case, and of course there are refreshments. Now, what group is it? It's the Helderberg Madrigal Singers. Okay, and not the whole group. I think it's just a portion of them. That okay, now this one is um, is to cost twenty dollars per person, and um, reservations are suggested. <coughs> and um, but did this group obviously? This is a, a little bit on the expensive side, but you're saying this group is the third year and they're very popular. And, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that should be good. And finally, on Sunday, December 20th, and then this should also be good, um, the Lake George Opera is having, what are they, they're going to bring some of their cast, or no, I shouldn't say cast, some of their... Um, yeah, um, usually they have two or three singers that come in and sing, um, you know, popular opera tunes. Um, and, and Christmas songs, too? Or Christmas? A bit. There was, um, they've done opera in the past, and they've also done some show tunes. Okay. They mix that in a little bit. Okay, now that one is 20, the cost is $25 per person, and it has, reservations are required. However, it says here you can, um, you can combine going to the madrigals and the opera for a discount, a small discount of forty dollars. So, correct. And it's the same weekend, the nineteenth and twentieth. So they sound like good events. Were these well attended last year? When you yes, um, they were. Uh, people really seemed to enjoy them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Well, that's a lot going on. All these events. This, this show were, is going to be on the whole month. So hopefully, if you can get down to some of these, I'll just read them again really quick. Friday, December fourth, from two to four, holiday tea. 
Saturday, December 5th at 1 p.m., a lecture on the Dutch traditions of Christmas. Sunday, December 6th, open house from 10 to 2. Wednesday, December 16th at 1 p.m., a lecture on, the, on Hanukkah and the Dutch, or not Dutch, on Hanukkah and sort of the Albany traditions. Children's Story Hour on the 19th from 10.30 a.m. to noon, plus there are going to be games and Center Claus will be there. And then Saturday, the same day, Saturday the 19th, Holiday Madrigals Coffee and Dessert, 3 to 5, and the Lake George Opera on Sunday um, from 2 to 4. Down at, these, all these events are down at the mansion. So thank you, Wendy, for telling us about this. Hopefully, thank you. Hopefully how many people do... do um, come to these every year. Do you get? Have you been getting big crowds, or is um, it? Yeah, we do. We do okay. I think we figured out last year that throughout the whole month of December, over a thousand people came oh, through okay. the mansion at one time or another. So you can combine learning about Christmas and um, some Albany history and Dutch, Dutch heritage, all in the same place. I guess. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so now we move over to Bob Wolfgang. He's the CEO of the um, Albany Aqueducts and Trolleys. Uh, so welcome, Bob. Thanks for coming. Well, thank you. Before for we talk about some of these upcoming mansion things um, we're going to talk about. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing for the, now we're filming this on November 30th, this is going to be on the whole month. Tell right. us about some of the things you're doing for the holidays. Or well, the ducks are in hibernation, as okay. you know. They came <laughs> off the road at the end of October, but the trolleys are, are going out almost daily from this point through the rest of the year. I guess we should tell people that the trolleys are heated, too. So trolleys are heated, okay. right. They each, uh, they each uh, transport up to 26 people. And what we're doing is we're, we're, we, too, are trying to get into this holiday mode, and, and we've got a lot of packages available right now through, um, from this point on through the end of the year, through the first of the year, actually. And uh, many of them involve um, trips through the Capitol Holiday Lights in the Park, which many people in the community are certainly aware of and familiar with. But what we've done is packaged with many of their local restaurants, in some cases some of the theaters, um, this coming Saturday, um, after this is if, once this has started the show, um, we will be having a package with the Women's Club of Albany and the Institute of History and Art and the Lights. So we've got a lot of different offerings, uh, some involving food, some involving other holiday events, and uh, most of which most of them are, are culminating with a trip through the Capitol holiday, holiday lights in the park. Now, are all these on your website? They are. That's the easiest way to uh, to see what we're offering because our offerings are changed daily. We add more to it and we've got uh, some other packages that we're working on right now. Actually, some in conjunction with the, the Tenbrook Mansion that probably won't uh, show up on, a, well, well, won't be offered until after the first of the year, but they're in the works right okay. now. So the easiest way is to check our website, which is albanyaqueducts.com. Yeah. Albanyaqueducts.com right. will be on the screen. Um, now, when you're saying, tell us a little bit, you were, you were telling me before, I found this, tell us about this little restaurant thing. People are going to meet up at, at some restaurants, yeah, and we've then got go, actually, and then they go to the go to the lights. That's correct. We've got a number of restaurants who are interested in partnering with us, and actually, we've still got open dates so we can add additional okay. restaurants uh, if someone were interested in, in um, partnering with us further. But what we've done is we, in some cases, they'll gather at the restaurant. They'll have appetizers mm -hmm. um, for a half an hour, perhaps a cocktail or whatever. Board the trolley, take a ride up through the Capitol Holiday Lights in the park through the other light displays in the area um, across Lark Street or downtown, okay. and then return to the restaurant where they will enjoy a, a wonderful okay. dinner. Excellent. And we've got quite a variety of restaurants, um, you, know, um, you know, some that would have pizza-type yeah. meals up to the, uh, you know, more expensive, more, uh, you know, elaborate restaurants yeah. in downtown. And uh, we're, we're certainly interested in offering more if people have an idea. But at where the moment... It's only are these restaurants in Albany only? Most of them, most of them right now. But we're still in the in the uh, in the stages of, of discussing uh, other potential opportunities okay. with other people in and around the area. Right, the we're in and out of Colony all the time, as you probably know. Yeah. Our vehicles are, are are seen all over. But we do. Um, we actually are are working with some of the hotels in the Colony area, trying to. Um, put together some packages with the lights um, through the hotels okay. as well up on Wolf Road. So, as uh, you know, if people get an opportunity to go on our website, they'll see what we what we've been successful in, in, in setting up for the holidays. Now, uh, people um, groups can charter your. Um yeah, our on our trolleys, yes. Uh, we've, we're doing a lot of holiday get-togethers. In some cases, it's office outings. In some yeah. cases, it's 25 of your closest friends that you'd like to get together and just have an, uh, an enjoyable evening for the holiday. And it becomes part of the experience. The trolley ride becomes part of the fun. Mm -hmm. And we have music on board. Oh, we, okay. They're decorated inside and outside for the holidays. And uh, we, we will usually have a, a step-on guide or a guide mm -hmm. accompany them and, and help to make it into a festive uh, occasion. And once 
once they get into the lights, the lights uh, pretty much you know, sell so, themselves. So for um, people watching, if you have a group, and, and if they want to go down and see the lights, they can yes. call you guys or go to the website. They can get in touch with Albany Aqueducts, and they can have an event first and then go down and see the lights. That's correct. Want. In so, some okay. cases, we have taken out neighborhood associations or neighborhood groups or, as I mm -hmm. indicated, office outings and, and those types of events. And it's, uh, you know, it's a relatively inexpensive way to go out and have a good time um, you know, and sure. celebrate the holidays. And you, you guys, I guess, are the designated drivers, too, in case <laughs> <That's correct. laughs> they have a cocktail party first. But <laughs> <laughs> that's correct. We but, get, um, get them that's, there and back That's again. good. But no, I noticed on the website you have... Um, historic tours, party tours, charter tours, educational tours. You have a thing, um, the suites tour. But you're going to be doing something that right now is in the planning stage, is that hopefully we'll start after the first of the year, you were telling me, where you're going to be visiting area historic mansions like the Tenbrook Mansion. And so far, the places involved are the Shaker um, Heritage in Colony, the Prine House, Schuyler Mansion, Cralo, St. Joseph's Church, in Albany and the Tenbrook Mansion. Tell us about, and it's still in the planning stage, but tell us about what this is going to be all about, hopefully starting after the first of the year. And that's just, as you indicated, it's in the planning stages, and it may actually expand because we've got so many historic sites mm -hmm. that are interest uh, of interest to people in the, in the region. Uh, this can only get uh, larger and larger. But the plan is, is actually we're working, we're partnering with the Tenbrook Mansion, okay. and they're going to assist us in making this happen. And they happen to be one of the highlights of our duck tours and okay. our trolley tours. We pass the Tenbrook. So the Mansion. Tenbrook is part of your regular, is part of the regular. It's duck part tour of our regular anyway. tour, okay. and actually on our trolleys, on our historic tours during the summertime, people can get off and enjoy the Tempric Mansion okay. and reboard the trolley and go around and uh, enjoy okay. the rest of the things. But we, what we're hoping to do is provide some opportunities for people to enjoy some of these older um, older buildings, some of the mansions and the historic sites that we have in the region. And we're, the, I, I suspect what the plan will be that we'll probably um, team up with perhaps three per per outing. Yeah. We may end up going from the Tenbrook Mansion to the Prine House to one of the Shaker sites on mm -hmm. one. We may end up going from the mansion to uh, perhaps Schuyler Mansion or Cherry Hill or another place of interest on another and um, each will have three mini tours okay. a mini tour taking place at each per at each one of the, the the destinations and we will probably be having a narrative uh, and oh, some information presented as we're going mm -hmm. from point A to point B the one thing that's nice about this is you can park your car just at one spot yeah. you know where you're greeted you can have a good time and go to all of these sites and, and not have to worry about going and finding a place to park at each one or driving your car mm -hmm. so we'll we'll make sure they get there and back uh -huh. Okay. It'll be not only educational, but it'll be a fun experience. We're, we're, oh, we're very okay. convinced so, it'll be a good product. And so this is probably going to be after the first of the year, but That's correct. there's no, um, no, no, no firm dates yet. No, but as soon as, we, as soon as we're able to work out some of the details, it will be posted on our website. And once we uh, get it there, mm -hmm. and it, if, we, if the interest is there and it exceeds the numbers, we'll just keep okay. adding additional tours. We're, uh, we're quite uh, confident that it'll be a big hit for the you know, people in the, in the area. Well, I looked on, on the um, Albany Aqueducts website. There is a lot on there. I mean, you guys do do many, many things. I should say, besides everything on there, you... you um, People can charter and rent or rent whatever the word is right. if, for your own groups to do almost anything they want. I mean, That's correct. Can, and we've got a lot of we've got a lot of offerings. Our, our uh, charter and special event coordinators, Maureen. If anyone's interested in more, learning more, they can call down to the office and speak with her. But you, we talked about progressive dining experiences. Oh yeah, where tell they us go about from, some of. You know, we've done those in the past. They're very popular, and hopefully, we're actually speaking with some restaurants up here in Colony right now about setting some up. But tell us about where that, that, basically that. it would be three stops. The first stop would be. Uh, uh, um, your first would be your appetizer and perhaps a drink. The second stop at another restaurant would be your main course. And the okay. third stop, would, it, would uh, they would present your dessert. Okay. And what we try to do is offer them three times involving those three yeah. restaurants so each gets a chance to show off their, right. their, uh, you know, their entrees or their desserts or their appetizers. And they're, they're, they're very popular. And, and, um, so you've done this... So you've done this in Albany a lot. So yes, far. we have, okay. and actually, yeah, right. well, and, there's a lot of restaurants in colonies. Oh, yeah, and that's where we're headed to. We've uh, we've been having a lot of conversations, and uh, the, if everything goes according to plan, we'll be you'll okay. be seeing even more of us up here than you have in the past. Right, good. Now, tell you were telling me about one thing that people will probably like this. What's this sweet tour? Well, that's another popular tour, and and okay. we've partnered with some of the. Uh, some of the bakeries and some of the candy shops. As a matter of fact, Colony, uh, we've been up to Krause's, we've been okay. to Polka Dot's oh, yeah. uh, um, cake shop over there, and uh, we, we get around, and, and what that involves is, is 
uh, once again, uh, multiple stops at different places okay. where they have sweets. Okay. And in many cases, they either get, it's a hands-on, we're going to make cupcakes today, or, or we're going you get to... A little, like a, you get like a little tour of the bakery? They get a the tour, they learn stuff. what they're doing, and then oh, all right. when, uh, when they're all said and done, they walk away with something real good to eat, right. or they have something there and go on to the next spot. But we've done, we've done Anthony's hand-dipped chocolate up in... Uh, up in uh, up on Route 9, again, Krause's down okay. in Polka Dots down here, and that's a, that's a big hit. And, oh, yeah. Uh, people really so. enjoy seeing how the, the behind the scenes, how these yeah. things are made, and they also enjoy tasting the things. Oh, okay. good, good. Well, very good. So that's Albany Aqueducts. There's a lot going on with them. There's a lot going on down at the Tenbrook Mansion. Um, Common, this is going to be on all month um, with your holiday festivities in December. Hopefully people will stop down. There's a lot going on. We've got music, stuff for kids. We've got tours, history, lectures, Albany Aqueducts. Sounds like they have a lot with um, food and history and driving around, and you can charter them. So try to get to the um, Tenbrook Mansion this month or in Albany Aqueducts. They're around albanyaqueducts.com. And thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for allowing us to come in. Have a great holiday. Yes, thanks. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, getting to know you, and we'll see you next time.